both in my show and in real life, I spend a lot of time in the Arkarula Wilderness Sanctuary at the northern end of the Flinders Ranges. Even on a global stage, it's an incredibly unique geological wonder. But some clown in the South Australian government went and approved a mining exploration permit, and the prospect of a hard rock uranium mine right in the middle of the sanctuary became a very real concern. So when a company called Australian Ethical Investment and Superannuation decided to fund a mini documentary competition about corporate ethics and the environment, I decided to leap into action. And they were very generous in awarding me an $8,000 prize. But more significantly, the actions of the many thousands of people who wanted to protect Arkarula prompted the South Australian government to do what it had to do. The mining company's been given the boot and Arkarula has been protected for future generations to enjoy. So here's my two minute mini documentary, it's in mono. Money, money's the one. I was a child <laughs> when I came to, to know Sir Douglas Mawson just a little bit. Dad had the most fond memories of Sir Douglas Mawson. He appreciated that this was truly a unique geological feature of Australia. Mawson loved Arkarula. Sir Douglas said, if you can ever do anything to protect Arkarula for posterity, then do it. Dad made it a bit of a challenge to try and get the government to take it up as a national park and uh, eventually someone in government circles said if you feel so strongly about it do it yourself and that's basically what happens. You can feel it on your feet on Mount G. The whole mountain is in a sense a solid quartz crystal. It's very very special. And I don't think mining sees the long term big picture. Been looked after for tens of thousands of years. This is their own. This is our own. And we got to pass it on to our future generation. It's kind of like allowing a, a country to be exploited or raped even. This state is really at the forefront of exploration and we don't have to go and mine the jewels. That's where they buried 22,800 bags of radioactive waste that they blatantly disregarded their environmental requirements. It was a crystal form of fluorite that is virtually unknown. Whoever looted that has taken away from us the ability to actually learn more about growing those crystals probably a billion years ago. I'd be pretty disappointed with a company that didn't bother to tell me that they're in an area of class A environmental zone and what that means and also not to tell them that it's a particularly mountainous country which makes it inordinately more difficult to mine. With Seeking a Balance it just throws out all the safeguards as far as we're concerned. Went out there to try and protect the land, but there's a lot against me. I think it's all about now and, and getting rich. You know, if I got 10 million or something, I suppose I'd be the same, maybe. But I doubt it whether I would. <laughs>